This episode is brought to you by Bomber Products. Bomber is an overland vehicle outfitter located in Bozeman, Montana. Bomber has their own product line for mounting accessories to your overland vehicle. These on locks, for instance, these are awning mounts and they bolt onto um, load bars for roof racks such as uh, Thule or Yakima. For instance, here you have a tubular load bar and uh, the on lock mounts right onto the end and it clamps down just like that. So it's extremely sturdy and uh, provides a great mounting surface for your awning. It's Wednesday morning in Bedford, Virginia and I'm on my way down to Overland Expo East in Asheville, North Carolina. You might be able to see up the hill, but there are also other overlanders staying the night here. Uh, Josh with Bomber Products, who I'll be traveling with, and uh, a couple of other guys that I don't think I met yet. Carolina in the Arts District. There's Michael with Broken Spoke and Josh with Bomber Products. What are you doing Josh? I'm trying to get some work done since we've been on the road all day so I'm cool. trying to check emails and talk to people. And... Um, you're welcome to stay there if you want. You could also pull up on this ramp. Wherever you want me. Um, if you want to be up here, we would love to have you up here. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? You're doing way over here. Yeah, man, this is where I live. No, those are sprint cars. They're for sprint cars. It's Thursday morning. I'm in Asheville, North Carolina at Overland Expo East. I'm here with uh, Bomber Products and I'm all set up. My camp is tucked away in the corner of the property and it looks like it's going to be a pretty awesome week.
It's Friday morning in Asheville, North Carolina at the Biltmore Estate, and it's the first full official day of Overland Expo East. Um, what I'm going to do is I walk around the event all weekend with my camera, do some networking, and uh, share my experiences with you. Coffee's ready. Yeah, thank you. It's a coffee tripod. <laughs> <laughs> My coffee is the right, the right height to easily grab. Josh, um, what have you brought with Bomber Products this weekend? I brought a little bit of everything. We brought um, all of the products that we manufacture. So our shove lock, our unlock, our new unlock, which is right there on the table. Yeah, yeah. This is our new one that works with the uh, any anything with a T slot in it. So front runner. Uh, aero bars from m pretty much any manufacturer, uh, Rhino Rack, uh, Prinsu, mm -hmm. and yeah, and we brought uh, a lot of the Blue Ridge Chairworks stuff that we sell. Yeah. We also yeah. brought our new storage system. This is going to be the first time the public will have an opportunity to take a look at it and inspect it. Is it the drawer system? It is. Cool. And it's kind of uh, messy right now. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'm here with Caleb with Get Lost Box. Um, if you recall on my video, my video series when I was traveling out west, uh, I got a Get Lost Box and it had uh, luminidal knife, extreme LED lights in it, and uh, gear read tape. Uh, yeah, we try really hard to put together stuff that people need, want. So, yeah. You know, it's not going to be just you know throw it in the back of the truck and forget about it. Yeah. Not the case anymore, but that's all right. It, it, it connects with the uh, with, with our program. People find us. Thank you. What's the is the trailer? Is it, was, it was it was too easy. Because I went up there, and so I went up and they were like, "We need help," so I went up to help. Them. Mike, can you tell me about Team Hunt? Sure. So, Team Hunt is a foundation for my son, uh, Hunt Hollis. He uh -huh. has a really rare disease called mitochondrial disease. And we started the foundation to raise awareness about the disease. and. It's turned into an overlanding adventure. So we wanted to prove to kids with special needs, regardless of status or disease, that um, that they can adventure. And adventuring can be in their backyard. It can be in a more severe case like ours, which yeah. is doing uh, yeah. large scale overlanding expeditions. Um, but we just want to show that adventure is accessible and uh, hunts a um, an example of what can be done. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Very well, thank you. How about yourself? Oh, we're good. Just can't get any signals anywhere. Yeah. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Are you filming? Yes, I am. Perfect. Hi, everybody. Kind of walked in on that one. <laughs> Hi. 
Yeah. Bought one of these last year. Yeah? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. All right. Oh, I remember you. Yeah, I love you. Whoa. How's everything going? Pretty good. There's, there's somebody back there. She's like, I'm joking. How about this tell you how you doing? Good, good. Yeah. So yeah, we're back here again. We have a couple new things that we have going on. So we have obviously we have the Java can. So mm -hmm. again, is the mocha pot, the four cups, the uh, the grinder, the grinder, the the stove, uh, frothing and frothing pitcher. Yeah. Now you can make lattes, right? Mm -hmm. um, we have the Java can light, mm -hmm. which so it's a two person version. Uh, so it's just two cups, a smaller mocha pot, the grinder, and also it still comes with the burner. Cool. And then also the CLS bag. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty much all this that fits into a military kind of first aid bag. Oh, I got you. Bag. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We sell Alec Dab, we sell James Brood. Oh, that's sell... a slick little shelf there. Yeah. That's our, we use it actually as a, our pantry. Sure. And it's full extension. Oh, that's nice. Nice. So we keep all our food in there, mm -hmm. and then we have some stuff in the back. But, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. He's got this down there. Oh, well, 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 he might want to look at that. It's, it's red. We paint it red and a three-inch lift and all that. Well, it's a model. He can go all over, <laughs> put it. He can have it in five minutes. Very cool. All right, we'll walk down. All right. There's a foot there. I'm not sure where it is. Yeah. Little bit. Yeah, it was muggy though. Yeah. Really humid. Yeah. I swear it looks the same, doesn't it? Pretty similar, huh? Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm Ben. Ben I'm Brian. Hey, Brian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ours is a panther, but they're. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for because all in one unit, so we're on top and the fridge on the bottom. Yeah, it's a pretty quick and easy uh, setup. With that. Yeah, yeah, just press that, close okay. it, you're done. Press, pull it open, and it just And the forerunner, yeah. uh, you know, my, I had a forerunner before. What we did is we did the camp, the, the camp kitchen, and then the drawer on top. And on the other side, we just did a single drawer and did a low profile drawer and had plenty of room to stick stuff on top while you're pushing over your I think that's how he had it. So the oh, shop roll is designed to carry just the tools for your truck, not everybody else's truck. <laughs> okay. So it has a socket pocket for your sockets, a delicate or parts compartment. This is called the workbench. The workbench is as a tool comes out, it stays on the bench and not in the dirt. So you don't lose your tools okay. or they don't get dirty. Um, Very large zippered pouch, so it'll hold the service manual for the vehicle. Where you guys at? Uh, and then as it comes okay. together, <laughs> oh, okay. you have a glove pocket, no, I lived, uh, a shop rag pocket, and then it simply rolls up, even with the service manual in it. Yeah, our office is in there. And I live actually in All military grade buckles, webbing. Cool. And specs, so and that's up. what that's is kept in the rig, manual. so it's not okay. rattling or so, loose. Uh, Be sure to if there's like 
Do you have an Instagram? Is there like a company Instagram or do you have a personal one for this rig? Okay. So with the cab overs. I mean we'd be able to find it. You guys eat? used to work once upon a time and then the car manufacturers started getting rid of the rain gutters Hey Adam. Hey, what's going on? Uh, sorry to ambush you. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about your product? Sure. Which would you like to know about? Pet, bungee, both? Yeah. Uh, both. Yes. Both. Okay. What do you do? So we are a manufacturing company based in New Jersey, mm -hmm. Alpha, New Jersey, and we make the Perfect Pet products uh -huh. and then the Perfect Bungee products. So all of our products are made out of proprietary blend of polyurethanes. Yeah. So it's UV stable, chemical, um, and gas resistant. Uh huh. Awesome stuff. Like anyway. Nylon glass beaded hook ends on our bungee, yeah. so it's a high tensile strength plastic we're using. Uh -huh. So we're not going to scratch, not going to mar. Mm. We use that same material for our leashes because they're shock absorbing, taking the whip lashing effect out between you and the dog. Yeah. To dog bones, tug toys. Yeah. You know, not brittle, but uh, um, soft, plush enough, easy for the dogs to chew on but not puncture through. Yeah, yeah. Bungee stretch two times our length. Yeah. Um, this is one of my favorite products we make. It's the loop end cinch cord. So simply loop it around something, pass the hook through, loop down, get it nice and tight. Yeah. Great for hanging some gear up. Then we have our adjustables, which 36 inches hook to hook. You change your hook to hook length on the fly, really simple. Yeah. Or go back into itself, which is really nice. And then we have my next favorite product is our different flex webs that we make. So cargo nets. Very, very nice. Very and then you innovative. can detach them, reattach them, use them independently. 
Yeah, man, I'm a fan. Pretty cool stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah, Thanks thank for you. taking time to show me around. I like it. It's just, it, it, you know, if, when you put it, the Scotto in the bag, I'll find out sometimes there's like maybe a little bit of grease residue or something maybe on it, like on the, and then like, so with this bag here, it might right. eventually this is, over time. This you just clean with a rag. Right. And that's it. All right. That's so. it. That's one plus to this yeah. bag. And, uh, and it just pops out, pops in, yeah. and you can put everything in here. The stove, the lid, gas right. bottles, because right, right. it's, it, you know, there's plenty of, uh, of space. Right. So. This is Adam with Blue Ridge Overland Gear. What is it that you guys do? Uh, we basically make uh, vehicular organizational solutions made in the USA, where we're from, uh, Bedford, Virginia. Yeah. And uh, came out here to Expo to display them all. So basically it's a lot of recovery bags, we have an air tool uh, kit bag, uh, an excellent uh, winch, ex a winch extension throw bag, yeah, uh, which works extremely well. Two soft shackles come with that as well, and uh, well, there isn't a whole lot we don't make a bag for. <laughs> Partner <laughs> steel stove, awesome. camp chef stove, so. Custom work? Uh, we do do custom work. There's a tab on our website under about that says custom cut and sew services and uh, also has an email on there to email us dimensions, exactly what you're looking for, etc. Okay, fantastic. Well, it's good to meet you. Yeah, you as well. <laughs> So, there's a big overland event going on. What are you doing, Rick? I like, I like looking at fish. <laughs> I purposely didn't bring my fly rod because I knew how close we would be to the river. You have version kind of thing. I really like this. Yeah. I'm finding that I like I like the things that are on one and not the trailers. backpack asking about it um, and uh, as I said before I didn't design for them but you know so basically, it's uh, you know it's one of my customer review is going to be everyone please sell ginger ales next year <laughs> good afternoon Yeah, that was fun. Is that, that giant white new mall back in the back? But I got these drawers at a surplus place. <laughs> Twenty five bucks each. <laughs> And they, they work perfectly, you know, just... Yeah. They're not as deep as a... Uh, the same thing, kind of with, you know, the down down the So while you're spectating, you're welcome to walk around and look what people are doing and bug them. It's fine. It's part of the fun. What's that? What's that? So when are the egos going? Over it. 
Are you with the company? I'm a dealer. Uh huh. So I sell the, this is Tax is the name of the manufacturer. Uh huh. And uh, I'm with Road Trip Camping, so we sell the products actually in Virginia. Okay. So about roughly 400 miles away from here. But they're neat products. They're unique. They're a small manufacturer. Very, very, very well made. Extremely functional. The guy who designed these products is ex NASA, yeah, and he I heard designed. You that to the um, other yeah, he designed the, or was instrumental in designing the habitat spaces on the space station. Uh -huh. So it's got a lot of that high function kind of mentality to it, and even the method of construction is very much, you know, aeronautical. It's yeah. very much like yeah. a plane, more so than it is a trailer. What's the material? These are aluminum laminated panels. Okay. So there's aluminum skin on the outside and aluminum on the inside and then block foam okay. in the middle. And then you've got those panels that are bonded and then button riveted to your aluminum skeleton. as a 14 gauge aluminum skeleton. So the whole thing collectively between those two components and then just all of the bends and elbows. If you see, you've got angle aluminum. You've got, uh -huh. this would be basically angle aluminum, almost C channel. Uh -huh. You've got bends and such. All of those things are creating strength and rigidity because a corrugated surface is much stronger than a shear surface. So yeah, with yeah. a very lightweight material, you can actually make something quite strong. This trailer only weighs literally about 900 pounds. Yeah, I really like those ones, and they're easy to do. The other thing to take into effect, I don't have any with me right now, but the soft shackles that are on the market now, you can see this one's actually rolled right here with a soft shackle. Some of the other older type pulley blocks that are just fat, flat metal, you can't use the soft shackles with it because they'll start to cut that Dyneema fiber that they're made out of. It's supposed to be real cool tomorrow, isn't it? It's supposed to be high of like 76, low of 45. Good. It is Saturday, day two of Overland Expo East. I'm on the Biltmore Estate in Asheville, North Carolina, and as you can see, it's been a lot of fun so far. There's been a lot to see, a lot of vendors, a lot of vehicles, and a lot of awesome people. Danger is a specter. Yeah, we're going to coordinate that one. That's fine. Uh, we're also, as you can also have city checkpoints on to for restaurants, hotels, gas stations, mechanics, all preloaded on this incredible. Very powerful app. 
your overland is whatever you want it to be. Maybe it's as simple as you're buying a Subaru Outback and you're going to throw some KO2s on it or uh, an all-terrain tire and you're going to go and hit some dirt roads and that's about it. Uh, and then it's real quick first name and phone number. No. I hate that's what my thing is. It's you go out to enjoy your trip and the more time you spend setting up and tearing down, the less you get. And uh, you can see all your accessories wired up here. So I got my winch and my S pod and this is some quick connect cables on the rear bumper. All the ground wires go over there. Here's my cable for the G screen monitoring system. And uh, all the wires just line right up with the battery post, so you know, guesswork how to hook it all up. Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit of a because we came Friday, Saturday, and up You go. Oh, are you winning? I am winning. This is what winning looks like. I need you to know. <laughs> Just so we're clear, this is what winning looks like. <laughs> and then you got this 270 awning, and with the 270 awning, you still have a. You can add the side. Yeah, imagine they got to have some cool. It is day three at Overland Expo East. Really, I mean, you can do it off of. We we really have not Is this made. Your camp stuff? Yeah. For now, yes. But um, yeah, I think it's a German company, but I'm here. Pacifica was a shot I wanted. <laughs> so we're cooking up some uh, South African uh, farmer sausage. It's called Burrobo. Oh, and absolutely delicious. Delicious. Can I try one? You can absolutely try one. Thank so you. I might have to try it. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. There we go. I keep seeing this and thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you better eat it before it drops. Mm. Oh my God. Isn't that delicious? Oh, it's good. Yeah, we're good. cooking yeah, this on a, uh, a Tembo Tusk Scottle grill. 
It's a uh, repurposed harrow disc or farming plow disc. Oh, really? Well, we, so I looked at that system. I'm like, buy this because it's a nice one. Coffee. Yeah. There's a uh, shock to it. Holy moly! Yeah. See, he was trying to be slick and film us. Then I just ruined it by doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, now Chris. this isn't very candid. Sorry, Chris. Sorry. That's a wrap for Overland Expo East 2017. I'm on my way home after an amazing weekend, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the footage. A uh, special thank you to my hosts, Bomber Products. Uh, they got me into the event, and uh, I'm really grateful for that. So check them out. They've got a lot of great overland equipment, and they're based in Bozeman, Montana.